Welcome to SkillGrid. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up your buy box owner settings for eBay sellers. Note, before proceeding, you will want to make sure that you have already configured all of your other settings in SkewGrid and have already purchased your buy box owner plan. Once you are logged into SkewGrid, click on Settings. Click Marketplaces. Click eBay. Click on the country you are selling on. Make sure that you have already set up your marketplace settings on this page and that you've already defined a default selling price formula. Also, auto update eBay price needs to be set to yes in order for this to work. Stroll down to the section labeled buy box owner algorithmic repricing. In the eBay seller ID field, enter your eBay username. Next, decide whether or not you want to enable buy box owner on all items. If you want to enable it for all items, set use buy box owner algorithm on all items to yes. If you prefer to just enable it individually for select items, then leave this option set to no. The next option is include shipping costs in algorithm. This option is referring to your competition shipping costs and not yours or your suppliers. For example, if a competitor is offering an item for 99 cents plus $24.99 shipping, they are clearly using a lower selling price and adding money into shipping to make a profit. With this setting, it's asking do you want SkewGrid to consider the competition's shipping prices in calculating whether or not you can undercut them. If you want to factor the competitor's shipping prices in, then set this option to yes. Otherwise, you can set it to no if you do not want to factor that in. The next option is what is the minimum profit margin you want to have. Enter a dollar amount here. If enabled, if you are unable to undercut the competition and still be profitable, then whatever amount you have here will be added to the selling price created by your formula. For example, if you are unable to undercut the competition and be profitable and your normal formula would create a selling price of $39.99, if you had entered 20 here, then your selling price would be set to $59.99. Enter a value and move on to the next field. The next option is, by how much do you want to undercut the competitor's price? Enter a value here in dollars and cents. Example, if you want to undercut by $1, you would enter 1.00. Likewise, if you want to undercut by, let's say, $0.05, cents, then you would enter 0 0.05. If you desire to match your competition, you would enter 0 0.00. Enter the value that best suits your business model. The last option in the buy box owner settings is use maximum profit margin if we are unable to beat the competitor. Set this option to yes or no. What this does is, if enabled, and you are unable to be profitable when undercutting or matching your competition, then SkewGrid will add whatever dollar amount you put in the maximum profit margin field above to your selling price created by your selling price formula. If you set this option to no, then when you can't undercut or match and still be profitable, then the maximum profit margin above will not be used. Your item will just be set at whatever price is created by your formula. Please see the note that says, please override your items when adding them into SkewGrid to create your minimum selling price or baseline when using buy box owner. A best practice would be to create an override formula for your items as each item might have a different profit margin and that will be used as your minimum selling price. If you do not override your items, then the formula here on your marketplace settings page will be used to create your minimum selling price. We will discuss adding items when using buy box owner in a later video. Once you are finished configuring your buy box owner settings, click the save settings button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.